President Trump tonight ordering meat processing plants to remain open despite coronavirus fears by workers. He signed an executive order declaring slaughterhouses critical infrastructure to keep people fed during the pandemic. I would just use reporter Lucy Yang with how local grocers are bracing for concerns about a possible shortage. Meat lovers beware. Shells might be a little emptier by this weekend. It's temporary. I would strongly recommend don't panic. I spend most of my day trying to keep these shelves full, and I'm promising our customers I'm going to find the beef. Here at the ever popular Stu Leonard's and Yonkers, there is meat to be had, but given the recent closures of large meat processing facilities, given the amount of hoarding, this owner worries about a possible shortage. The big demands are obviously your porterhouse steaks. Uh, ground beef is very big. Ribeye steaks are big. Um, strip steaks and also chicken breasts. They've done an excellent job. Andrew Caruso says it's well worth his drive from Manhattan just to shop here. Every time I've been to Stu's, they've had a pretty ample supply of everything. To keep the food chain flowing, President Trump tonight signed an executive order. Under the Defense Production Act, he is now declaring beef pork and poultry processors, essential businesses that must stay open to feed the nation. You only have so much room for meats in your freezer. And he's always going to have it, so you don't have to hoard stuff. The president promising to help with safety and liability issues at the plants so that families can continue to put meat on their table.